Hi everybody, I'm Rick Snow and I'm going to teach you how to play the song Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home from L. King and Miranda Lambert. Um, it's a fun song, real easy to play. Um, put a capo on the third fret, there's only four chords in the song. We're going to go through the, uh, the chords right now. So we have a D chord, we have a G chord, we have an A chord, and we have a B minor chord. Just those four chords in the song. Song's at about 120 beats per minute if you're using a metronome to practice. Uh, stick around for the end of the video and we're going to actually do an entire playthrough of the entire song using a drum machine at 120 beats per minute. Okay, so the song starts off with the intro part and it just got like a little bit of like a little chug kind of a thing with a one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is just all on a D chord. Okay, now the verse does four measures of D. Switch over to a G now for four measures. G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Again, back to the top of the verse. D again for four measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And then the G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, here comes the pre chorus. We're going to do a measure of an A. One, two, the B minor, one, two, three, two measures of G, two, three, four, one, again, A, here comes the B minor, and then the G, ready, here, here comes the chorus, ready, going into a D right now, D, two, three, four, again, and then the G, one, two, three, four, one, let's go through this line four times, D, Break for two D's. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, basically play the entire song at this point. If not, you've got some repeating parts. So after that two uh, measures of D where you're going to do the break right there, it's going to go back and it's going to do the verse again. So once again, the verse is four measures of D, four measures of G, and that entire thing gets repeated two times. And then the pre-chorus is going to be an A for a measure, a B minor for a measure, and a G for two measures. And that line happens two times in a row. And then the chorus consists of two measures of D, and then two measures of G, and that line will repeat four full times. And that happens exactly as a verse, pre-chorus, and a chorus after that break that we just discussed. Now, the next part of the song is the bridge to the song. The bridge is identical to the pre-chorus. It just doesn't have the same vocal line, so typically we call that a, uh, the bridge of the song rather than the pre-chorus repeating. So this is going to be an A for measure. One, two, three, four, to the B minor, and then the G, two, three, four, one, two, three. Again, A, and a B minor, and a G. Okay, now we're going back to the chorus, which is the D for two measures, and then the G for two measures. Two, three, four, one, two, three, again. D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and a G. Two more times on that. D, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, and a G. One more time. Ready? Here we go. D. That's the final chorus. Now the outro to the song is the exact same thing that we were just doing. It's just two lines of that where there's no chorus being played. There's D for two measures, and then a G, two, three, four. This line one more time, and then the song is over. D, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the entire layout of the song. All right, so stick around. We are going to do the entire playback uh, using a drum machine at 120 beats per minute.
Hey, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.